Since when did this goofy game have lore? Actually, a couple of days ago, as I look at it. Today, we're going to go over the lore inside of Evade. They actually have categories as well, and that's from factions to characters and to miscellaneous. The first one here is a faction. This is for Lysium Corporation and the Atomic Innovations. So in the map of Evade, we actually have a couple of maps here that have Elysium or Elysium Corporation. How do you say that, by the way? Can someone let me know? So these are two companies that profit from an ongoing conflict and are responsible for interdimensional travel with atomic innovations specializing in exotic machinery. Lysium Corporation is closely associated with atomic innovations and they collaborate to monopolize the war in consolidating their position through their military assets. Faction, the Rebels. This is a coalition dedicated to opposing the forces of Elysium and Atomic. These individuals were sent through dimensions against their will to scout for artifacts and exotic material. The Rebels lacks a centralized command structure and often blends in with civilian populations, wearing inconspicuous clothing to avoid detection. The rest of their motives are not known yet. All right, character, here we go. Jarred, a college student who is in debt and has turned to working for Elysium Corporation and Atomic Innovations. Formerly affiliated with a fraternity in college, Jarred now traverses dimensions in search of rare artifacts and exotic materials. He is recognized for his exceptional navigational skills and often acts as a scout, providing valuable intel before the professionals retrieve the exotic materials he has located. I'm pretty sure Jarred is relating to one of the actual devs of the game. College student who is in debt. I think Every college student isn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> formerly affiliate with a fraternity in college. I think Oster is jarred because Beef is still in high school. He's got to graduate before he ruins the game, he said. All right, character, Galf, a shopkeeper who suffers from a severe smoking addiction. Growing up in poverty, he works tirelessly in retail to support his family. Galf has a close relationship with Jard and acts as a liaison? Liaison. Liaison. Between him and clients, selling the exotic machinery Jard acquires during his interdimensional travels or from the corporations. So Galf is kind of the middleman for Jard. Character Bobo. This is going to be interesting. An anomaly. The Eldritch. The human representation of cosmic horror. It had been speculated that Bobo was involved with the interdimensional traveling and with a mental evaluation, Bobo doesn't seem to express a lot of emotions except for happiness. Always wearing an iconic blue visor. Bobo is probably a serial killer. And then we have one more that was just actually uh, uploaded yesterday. This is a lore exclusive character, Rose. So Rose was a software engineer who had been working for Elysium Corporation for several years. She was responsible for developing and maintaining the advanced software used in many of Elysium's products, as well as keeping the company's core network infrastructure up to date and secure. One day, Rose was ordered to join a group of corporate members on a mission to retrieve exotic materials from an interdimensional navigator who is working with Elysium Corporation and Atomic Innovations to acquire rare artifacts and materials. According to the incident report, the mission did not go as planned. The group was ambushed by members of a rebellion group. During the ensuing altercation, Rose was seen fighting against the group before suddenly disappearing. She is currently classified as MIA. It was speculated that she could be taken captive by the rebellion group or she had fled the scene. So there is a lot to talk about with the lore here, okay? Let's go ahead and break it down and also talk about the theory that I have. So we basically have these two main corporations, which is Elysium and Atomic Innovations. They work together to try to make a profit off of this conflict that's going on. And that conflict could very well be the fight with the next bots right now or something like that. Elysium Corporation went ahead and hired Jard because he is recognized for his huge exceptional navigational skills. And he does act as a scout. So he does provide valuable intel. And he also goes ahead and provides valuable retrieval for exotic materials that he has located. However, later down the line, it is known that Jard is stealing from this company. Because if we go ahead and read Galf's description, Galf has a close relationship with Jard and acts as a liaison between him and clients, which means Jard is actually making a profit from selling items. Galf is his middleman. Galf controls the shop, the shop that we go ahead to purchase items from. So Jard is stealing items from Atomic that he's selling to us, and he's also going ahead and selling the exotic machinery that he finds during his interdimensional travels. So all that stuff that we're buying in the shop is actually all the stuff that Jard has either stolen or found 
found and he is selling to us. So with the knowledge that Jard is stealing from the corporations, we now have to go into Rose's description because it does say that Rose was ordered to join a group of corporate members on a mission to retrieve exotic materials from an interdimensional navigator. That interdimensional navigator is Jard because he was working for Elysium Corporation and Atomic Innovations to get those materials. But since they caught Jard stealing, they actually had Rose join a group of members to go ahead and try to capture Jard. We do get to an incident report where the mission did not go as planned. Rose's group was actually ambushed by members of a rebellion group, also known as the Rebels. And during that altercation, Rose was actually seen fighting against the group, but then she suddenly disappeared, and she is currently classified as MIA. Who is the lead for the Rebels? Because it does say that the Rebels were forced to go ahead and scout for these artifacts and exotic materials against their will. Rose is the lead of the Rebels, or Jard is the lead of the Rebels. Jard could very well be the lead of the Rebels because they're doing the same thing. They're both in search for rare artifacts and exotic materials, and they both kind of look alike. When Rose's group went to go ahead and try to find Jard, they could have found and gotten to a battle with the Rebels who are protecting Jard because they work for him. However, that theory doesn't quite make sense to me because they kind of implemented Rose's final lore piece here as saying that she went MIA, that she suddenly disappeared. So why would they go ahead and implement that? Well, that kind of brings us to our next theory, that Rose is actually the lead of the Rebels. So we actually have all of these people kind of fighting for all of these exotic materials. We could have the corporations fighting for these materials. We could have Rose's group with the Rebels looking for those materials. And we could also have Jard looking for these materials. So how is Rose the leader of the Rebels? When their group gets suddenly ambushed by members of this rebellious group, which she could have provided intel to the rebel group in order to actually get ambushed by these people. During the fighting, Rose randomly disappears, and now she's classified as MIA. What if it was planned? What if Rose's group was actually stopped by the rebels and faked Rose's capture? They wanted to make it seem like Rose was captured by the rebels without having anything in there about Rose being the lead for the rebels. So this whole ambush could definitely be faked. I think I'm leaning towards the fact that Rose is the leader for the rebels, and whether or not Rose is actually working with Jard to go ahead and steal from the corporate operation or just to go ahead and compile all of these resources and materials that they get from navigating to make a profit off of that and sell it to us. So the corporations are making a profit, Jard is making a profit, and Rose is also making a profit. Those are the three main things I kind of wanted to talk about and how all of this lore kind of ties into each other. Because Bobo being a lore character doesn't really tie into the game at all. It does say that he is involved with interdimensional traveling, which is why we randomly see his character pop up in maps, because he is also doing what we're doing. He's doing interdimensional traveling. I want to know what you guys think about all of this down below. There's a lot of lore to go with, and there's a lot of ideas and theories that could be tied into each other, but of course, this is just a theory that I had. There could very well be some stuff I missed out on. There could very well be more lore coming in the near future, because Rose was actually submitted two days after the first lore was actually introduced, Bobo being one day after. So there could be more more coming to the game that's lore exclusive. But as of right now, guys, that's what we have. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is GMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.